Okay, so the story I'm going to talk about today is the Sarah Connery story. If you're not familiar with the Sarah Connery story, there was this incident that happened in New York with a biking service uh, and that pretty much provides bikes to everyone in New York if you pay a, a fee, essentially, like rent a bike. And there's an incident between a white this white lady, Sarah Connery, and this black man. I'm not sure the black guy's name, but it's not really relevant, to be honest with you. So they had this altercation. There was a mistake about who or whom or whom was the one that was the first one to get the bike. So there was an argument. She assumes one thing, all right? In the video, it doesn't look great for her. I'll, I'll admit, I'm gonna play that video right here. Now there's been another incident in New York City. Have a look at this video that shows a young pre pregnant woman. And here's the important bit for the coming dog pile white New York City hospital worker trying to get on a share bike she had reserved. Now, some other young men had a different idea. Have a look at what went down. Well, now you're not what? getting the bike. Bro. Yeah, now you're not getting the bike. Help! You're not getting get the bike. Off me, dude. I'm not. Oh, Why you took his phone? What's wrong with you? You're not Don't touching his phone. No, you're not touching his phone. I'm not touching you. You put your stomach yes, on my hand. Help! 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 My dude, stop. No, my dude, stop. No, 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 no. I said no. I said sit down. Please help. Stop taking my bike. She's just crying. You're not crying. You're not crying. I got stupid. I got you on video. Drunk. Wait, you, you, you put it out? Hey, hey, hey. Hassan, you put it out? Hassan. Hassan, you put it out? This is my bike. It's on my account. Please move. All right, so why don't we set, reset the bike? Okay. So I don't, I don't think I need to play the whole video. I'm People have seen it. We've all seen it, right? I'm not going to defend her actions. I'm not going to defend their actions. Uh, I'm just glad there was no violence, to be honest with you. Uh, how they reacted in that scene is how they reacted, right? There was a misunderstanding. That misunderstanding was not solved there, and it escalated into this video, and now all the media is taking sides, essentially. You see this? This is a... Uh, skynews.com.au so it's from australia and you can even tell from the guy's language in the beginning that he doesn't fuck with these guys <laughs> he's on the girl's side right uh but then you have other news networks that would be for her like let's say fox news for example all right i don't even have to check fox news i just know they are now i want to figure out what is the truth right what is the real reason that she's getting all this hate right because ultimately i don't from what i know from what i'm about to show i don't think she deserves all this hate i think i think i truly think it's a misunderstanding that happened with an unforeseen circumstance that we see now right on video and it just and it just made her look worse than what it was but let me prove my point first i got to show you two more videos Two more videos that try to debunk everything. Now, the video that really made me want to like actually do this, because I was just like, oh my god, what is this narrative that people are running with? It was this video by this TikToker right here. And uh I'll just go through it, honestly. You guys really donated a hundred grand for a Karen to go hire a PR firm to make a blackhead look bad. Yeah, this is the trash care that you guys gave money to, so she can go hire a PR firm and some lawyers to go make the black kid look bad and sue everybody that calls her a Karen because she's implying that the black kid stole the bike from her. All right, so this is going to be super important. This video right here, and why I think this guy is kind of ignorant is because of how he glosses over very, something very important. Well, maybe not this video specifically, but definitely this interview. Definitely this guy talking to the lawyer. I'll, I'll explain why. These receipts showing she had rented the bike in question. In fact, the bike number on the receipt actually matches the bike she is seen being pushed off of in the video. 
I hate his smile, bro. He's pissing me off. I'm gonna be real with you. fucking cunt ass jackass. Toxic. Oh, maybe we should press charges on the black kids for shoving her off the bike. And then they got the bombshell of a receipt with a redacted timestamp. They never said that, by the way. So this is what actually fucking happened. The black kid probably has an annual membership. But they should go after the black kids. bike he wants for up to 45 minutes before he has to redock. How do I fucking know? I'm fucking from New York, and you can Google that shit. If he didn't redock the bike, then he'd get charged for every minute. Yeah, so he annoys me. I'm sorry. I'm not lie to you. But he uh, is pretty much explaining how the whole biking system works. He says because you have an annual pass that allows you to reserve a bike up to like 45 minutes, 30 minutes, right? So he's assuming that the guy reserved his bike and was heading there. And then the Karen came and attempted to steal the bike. Let me, let me get to that point. It's still out, so he docks it, hoping to take it back out again, all of which is on his account. And what does the Karen do? It's like, oh, I want your bike. And what makes his bike special? There are two types of city bikes in New York City. One's electric and one's not. So like, one you have to pedal harder than the other. She saw the kid probably dock the bike and was like, hey, can I have that? And he's like, nah, I'm not done with it. And she tried to scan her phone anyways when he docked it. And how do I know my version of the story is fucking true? Because the kid's sister literally has the timestamps for when he took the fucking bike out. The kid literally has two fucking receipts, one from 6.33 to 7.15, and the next one from 7.25 to 7.33, and guess where that video fucking took place? She literally starts crying for fucking help one minute before he got a chance to take it back out again. But nah, leave it up to the internet to go pay a fucking Karen 120 grand so she can go write some op-eds pretending like they're fucking news pieces about how she's the victim here. Oh, and, and shout out to the fucking PR firm, aka Dustin Siggins of Proven Media Solutions. Go take everybody's donated money to spin that shit to make the black kid look bad. Yeah, good job, guys. Okay, so... <laughs> so very abrasive video, very uh, on the nose, right? Well, I mean, no. When you say on the nose, it means that the guy is correct. When I say on the nose, I mean he's very... he he, he What he thinks is the hot button uh, issue... He's pressing it, right? He's on that nose. Forget forget that. Forget what I'm saying. All I'm saying is the one thing I think in the video that's important to note is the timestamps. I don't know if the scenario that he said was absolutely correct, but there's a possibility that, yeah, he did dock it early. Yeah, he did come in, come out. Uh, but I'm not too sure about what she could have done because i also believe that she believed and especially in the receipt that she also has that she got the bike as well but let me show you the next video all right so this video it's with the dude's sister uh she's on her brother's side obviously right obviously i totally expect her to not be on her on his side she's on her research she is uh i guess going to expose everything so let us Let's watch the, this video. The only reason why Sarah Jane Comrie was able to produce this receipt for this bicycle is because she jumped over this young man standing right here who had his hands on the handlebars, jumped over him, impales herself on his bike, and scans the QR code to begin the ride. How did all of this happen, and how do I know what happened? Because that young man is my little brother. Bike number 5603915 was in my brother's possession from St. Nicholas Ave, Manhattan Ave, all the way to 1st Ave, East 30th Street from the hours of 6.33 p.m. to 7.19 p.m. At 7.19 p.m., they dock the bikes. Sarah Jane Comrie walks up to them, asks, hey guys, can I use one of you guys' bikes? She says this as there are other bikes sitting idle at the bike rack. They politely decline. She asks them again, mentions that she's pregnant, and they still decline. Then, with my brother standing next to the bike with his hands on the handlebars, she jumps onto the bike, sits on the bike, and scans the QR code, thus beginning her ride. Mind you, the bike was in my brother's possession at this time. So this screenshot is from six minutes after the previous ride ended. Um, once the boys reached the bike rack, they docked the bike to restart the ride. My brother's standing next to the bike. That's when Sarah Jane Comrie walks up to them and asks, hey, can I ride this bike? 
They say no. They politely decline. She asks them again. They politely decline. As the bike is docked is when she jumps over my brother because he's standing with his hands on the handlebar. She jumps over my brother to start her ride. Then the bike gets pushed back in during the, the, the you know, back and forth. Um, and then my brother is able to start the ride again for him. As you can see, 7.25 p.m. Previous ride ended 7.19 p.m. These gentlemen, these boys, did not steal this bike from Sarah Jane Comrie. She stole the bike from them, then be proceeded to weaponize her whiteness. Video started being recorded at 7.24 p.m., close to 7.25. Um, my brother's ride that was in the previous screenshot starts at 7.25. The initial ride where my brother rid rode the bike all the way over to the bi this bike dock ended at 7.19 p.m. Sarah Jane Comrie walked up to them. Sarah Jane Comrie asked them if they can use the bike. They said no. Sarah Jane Comrie sees that the bike is docked, gets up, scans the QR code, jumps onto the bike, starts screaming for help and fake crying so that she can get an electric city bike. There were a number of bikes at the bike rack already there when she arrived. She still proceeded to try to take the bike from my brother. Help. She's trying to get help for the city bike. The city bike is in my brother's possession on his account. 7.25 p.m. Docks it at 7.19 p.m. Picks it back up 7.25 p.m. While she's screaming for help, help 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 make trying to make it seem like these boys stole this bike from her the bike is on my brother's account it is not defamation of character if the way that you behave reflected your character it is not defamation if it's true sarah jane comrie you did behave like a karen that's true there's no way around that yeah damn see i didn't watch the i didn't watch her full video so i'm not gonna disagree because she's not wrong she did act like a karen plain and simple i'm not gonna lie she did act like one now the evidence that she brings up it's damning that's some damning evidence honestly and honestly that's not even like the part that i'm really like focused on honestly uh again i don't know much about the bikes there in new york i don't really know about the system and how it, how it supposedly works doesn't work. I'm not, I'm not too keen on that. From what they're saying, it does seem like that's an accurate portrayal of the events. However, that's not that's not my focus. Mm -mm 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 -mm. My focus is on that one guy earlier who was saying that she was trying to go after these black kids. That's 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 what I'm on right now. I'm going to show how incorrect that statement is. To be fair, we think you should know. Sarah had just ended her 12-hour shift at Bellevue Hospital as a physician assistant. She is six months pregnant. And here is the kicker. Her lawyer provided us these receipts showing she had rented the bike in question. In fact, the bike number... No, I'm not going to lie. They need to reveal this timestamp right here. If Once they reveal this, that's going to honestly... It's going to corroborate or decorroborate the girl's story. So they need to release this timestamp right here. That's, that's, that's important. On the receipt actually matches the bike she is seen being pushed off of in the video. Do you trust him to fairly investigate this and if charges are warranted, bring them? Quite candidly, I won't lie though. The guy is right on how News Nation is trying to paint this. Like I said, all, all of them, they're trying to paint it in some way. Whether it's positive, or sorry, whether it's for or against her, they're trying to paint it, you know? It's, it's understandable. We don't want charges for these individuals. Uh, my client has no ill will for these individuals. In fact, she wishes them the wow. best. We think this is just uh, a terrible mistake, a misunderstanding. Um, we don't want the same scrutiny and misery that is applied to my client to go to these young men. They are, after all, young men. Our focus is, one, clearing her name, two, ensuring she has a job, and three, uh, going off to the media that effectively poured gasoline onto the fire. So that's the part he didn't, he didn't include, the part where they're not going after, they're not going after the black boys. Uh, what the lawyer is saying, they're not going after the black, the black men at all. He, he just heard the first part of that story and ran with that narrative. And that's probably a popular video too, because I saw it on Reddit. 
So, so I don't know how many views it has on TikTok, but it probably has thousands of engagement, right? So now that's the narrative people are going running for. And don't get me wrong. Yeah, she did act like a Karen. Yeah, she did get all that money, right? Uh, but she's trying to clear her name. This did, look, no matter what we can say about her, right? This ruined her life. Her life is over. She's going to do, she's doing everything she can right now to get her life back. But her life is ruined. She asked for the donation money. She got the money. You know, what can I say? Congrats to her. Kudos to her. She made a terrible situation financially beneficial to her. I can't knock her for that. I wish I could do that myself. So when we run with these narratives, when we, when we find these stories, we need to dissect everything. All the information needs to be within our heads and in our hearts. We need to know it's true and it needs to be true. If it's not, then we're just talking out of our ass. And I, I get it. That's how a lot of people make their living, get rich, be happy, whatever. But you're fucking with people's lives, man. You gotta do better. You gotta do better. So that was it. Like I said, I'm not really picking sides. I doesn't matter to me who's right, who's wrong. Uh, at the end of the day, it seems like both parties are figuring stuff out still so hey it is what it is i just want to talk about it thank you catch you later